Finally get to see that X tomorrow. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Perfect. Feel. Feels great. Yeah. That, that's, that's what you set up to do when the season starts, and we got that accomplished. Now we got nine games to get ready for and finish as high as we can. Keep winning games and keep playing well. Tonight's effort overall, how do you feel about it? Excellent. From start to finish, it was an excellent game. Yeah, I liked everything about it. Uh, we created lots of scoring chances. We shot the puck. Cries got a couple of beautiful goals, and it was a great night. Chesky looked really sharp, and I just thought we came out ready to play. And like you said, sometimes it doesn't matter how you get in the playoffs, but it was nice the way we, you know, we came to the rink wanting to win and get in the playoffs, and that's what we done. Did, did you sense a focus from the group that they wanted to get it done tonight? Yeah. No, I mean, it's hard to tell. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Two weeks ago when we played the Islands, I focused, I thought the group was focused to play and we didn't. It's so those games happened. But I thought, you know, from the first period on, they were playing their game, they were moving the puck, we did the right things, and I liked the way we played. It, with Artemi, uh, the game that he had tonight, I mean, does he really, he, he seems to have really picked it up since that Islander game that you talked about. I mean, he came out, he's really upset, and he seems to just. Yeah, no, he makes those plays and those passes that. That's what makes him a special player. And he sees the ice and he finds his line mates. And like I said, I think he had a goal and a couple assists tonight, but he, he played an outstanding game. All, all our guys did. They did their jobs. Do you think there was a point in the season where your team recognized what kind of a season this could be? Mm. Well, it wasn't the first 12 games, but uh, I think I think somewhere around Christmas where we, when we were playing really well, I think we went 11-1 and one or some, something in that area. And... You know, we were playing the right ways and we were winning games. We weren't winning lucky because the goalie stood in his head. And I think that at that time they said, you know, we got something special. And the guys are, it's a good group of guys. And like I said, it's, it's been a lot of fun. We've won games a lot of different ways this year. There's no doubt about that. And, but uh, they stuck together. And again, it's not over yet. We got nine, nine big games to play and finish as high as we can. Do you want the team to turn their sights onto first place? Is that, you know? Well, it better be. I think we're tied right now. So. Yeah. And again, it's you always fight for home ice. I mean, we fight to get in the playoffs, and then when you're having the season that we're having, you you want to get home ice. That's the next goal. And if it's first place, then that's great. If it's not, you know, you do the best you can and can you, play the games the right way. Can you put it uh, like I said? That was the perspective that I was asking you about before the game. Can you put that into perspective where you guys were at the start of the season and how you were playing? How did you get here? Like, how did you think you guys? Well, played? I think the guys had. Once they seen Chesky playing the way he was early, I think the guys believed that we had outstanding goaltending for our team, and that goes a long way. And like I said, I don't think we were playing really well the first 15, 20 games, whatever it was, but our team started getting confidence and building confidence from our goaltending. And you know, I just think the guys played a better defensive game for the most part. And you know, I don't know exactly what game it was, but we started playing better hockey. And but I think they feel confident. I mean. You look at our top players, and there's some good skill and good talent there. And I think the other guys filled in real well. You know, the Rooneys, the Rebos, and those type of guys are important players for us. So they just got to keep doing what they're doing and, you know, come in the rink and find the ways to win. And again, I said it a number of times, we're not a perfect team, but they find ways. Kako came through it, okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Him and Rooney are fine. I don't think Rooney's done too well in the face house, but we can give him a, a bye for that tonight. <laughs> But he was good. Did you sense you had a special group with the leadership from the beginning, just knowing these type of players? Well, I didn't know them real well, like I said. But I mean, you know, from coaching against that team, you, you know there's some character guys there. And again, we talk about it all the time. The younger players, another year under their belt and starting to get better. And it's more of a team. Well, Chris, you got to be in it to win it. You're in it. Your thoughts. I mean, that was our, our primary goal from the beginning of the season was to, to make the playoffs. So, um, you know, we've, ta we've taken that first step. So what, we had nine games left. So got to continue to work on our game, play the right way. Have some really good teams, probably some handful of playoff teams um, still left on the schedule. So got to continue to work on our game and get ready for that. And the mantra seemed to be from the staff anyway was, uh, OK, next period, next game, not too much living in the past. How important was that attitude over the course of this season so far? Yeah, I think that showed up in our ability to come back in games. Um, I mean, you're not always going to have a good start, not always going to have a good period, a good shift. Uh, but to be able to, to kind of leave that behind you and to focus on what you control in the next shift, I think that was something that was pretty contagious up and down our lineup and something that allowed us to have success up to this point. And again, it was a pretty relentless pursuit to clinch it tonight. Do you think that was a conscious 
thing in the, on the room? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, we knew we had an ability to, to clinch a playoff spot tonight, so um, probably one of the better games we've played all year. Okay, finally, I'm not going to let you off the hook. Yesterday, Mika Zibanejad was asked to get you to 50. He said he wasn't going to shoot it until you got to 50. You're one away. You think he's going to shoot it or is he going to pass it to you? Well, I hope he starts shooting. He's got an unbelievable <laughs> shot. Um, I'll be there for rebounds, but he's, uh, I mean, he's an unbelievable teammate, unbelievable player. Um, I mean, he's, he's really the engine that makes our team go. He does so much for us. So, um, yeah, I mean, can't, obviously can't say enough good things about Mika. Um, that was nice of him to say, but he's got to keep shooting the pill. <laughs> well, you're doing a good job, big boy. Congrats. Keep it yeah. going. Thank you very much. All right, Chris. Pop champagne in there? No. <laughs> not like baseball. Long ways to go. <laughs> yeah, not like baseball. Yeah. What is it like in the locker room right now, though? Do you allow yourself to celebrate? Or? Yeah, I think we'll enjoy it for the night for sure. Um, you know, feels like yesterday I got here, but it was like four years ago, and you know, times were tough, and you know, last few years haven't always been the most fun. And but uh, I feel like this has snuck up on us a little bit. You reach a hundred point mark, and you clinch a playoff spot. And um, the building was unreal tonight. Just the energy in the building, even in warm-ups, it was pretty full. And um, it's just, a, it's just a good feeling. I think we've come a long way as a group. And um, this was our goal from. One of our goals starting the year and end of last year, and you know we've uh, ticked off one of those boxes. So, you know, and obviously now the fun stuff starts and the work begins. But um, you know, this is a a good night for our team and, and our organization, and a real good uh, a real good you know little reward for for the guys that have you know been through a lot. Why do you think it's snuck up on you? I just think we've been focused every day. Um, I think we've come to the rink and we've just focused on the next game. I don't think we've dwelled on bad performances or been too high on good performances. I think we try to come with the same mindset. I think, you know, from the top down, I think that's what Turk kind of does every day, and I think it rubs off on us. So I think when you just come to the rink worried about that next game and you're not really looking at the standing so much and all of a sudden, boom, there's nine games left, you clinch a spot, I think. Um, we haven't really sat back and enjoyed, you know, how, how things have been going. We've just been focused every day on getting better.